everybody, it's Liliana. So I just wanted to come in today and just share a little bit about my journey through my laundry room. <laughs> All right, so take a peek. I do have a few things I'm gonna share. Now, this is way back when I would say what the last stand I ever had was my laundry room, okay? Because I wanted my clothes to smell good and be soft and feel good, you know? So I always, and I also look good, you know, I like that bright, look on my clothes i love my whites looking super white you know so one of the last standouts for me um and you guys know my journey i always look for things um that can help me <laughs> uh with my wellness and also to take off toxins out of my home so i can feel the best i can feel right so but the one thing i always held back on was my laundry because i'm like okay you know what laundry soap is not going to kill me it's totally going to be you know just fine and I put my clothes on my body and the stuff in the laundry detergent won't affect me well get this so I just um, did some research um, and just take a listen to this okay um, so did you know that benzene okay which is found in dryer sheets causes leukemia and other blood cancers according to the American Cancer Society okay and acetyl, acetyl aldehyde also found in dryer sheets has been shown to cause nasal and throat cancer in animal studies. So, I mean, I put the link up into the, uh, in my in the post so you can take a look at the um, article or um, done a little bit more details. But yeah, totally take a look at what is in your dryer sheets, what's in your fabric softener, what's in your liquid detergent or powder detergent, whatever, because these things actually are in the clothes. So as you're wearing your clothing and you smell that wonderful fresh meadow smell or whatever they advertise on the bottle, that smell you're getting is wafting up onto you is actually also getting into your skin. You're inhaling it, all right? So those things are affecting your body, all right? So one of the things, I'm gonna take you through the, the journey <laughs> of uh, all of my laundry stuff. Now, I don't have the first thing. The first thing is actually missing, and um, that was Tide. Okay, I used to use Tide, guys, and I loved it. I love the way it smelled. There, there was actually one that had fabric softener in it already. I think that was the one I got. I also got the one that um, helped you your black clothes stay black, you know, so <laughs> all those things. Yeah, so I got the Tide and that was my favorite thing. Up until about three or four years ago when I realized, wait, hang on, it was no, three years ago. That's when this happened. Uh, I, re I learned a little bit more about all the crap in Tide. So I just, that's when we decided, okay, Ty got a, a, a boot and, and got kicked to the curb. All right, so the thing is, I got this. I don't know if you guys recognize this, but a lot of people do this, and this is where I kind of, was my first step to eliminating toxins in my laundry room, <laughs> was to make my own laundry detergent. Yeah, that was such a cool experiment. It didn't really work so great. My husband hated it. Um, like seriously, this this was it. I only made one batch. Um, I uh, you can see the recipes on online, but it was such a mess. It's super hard. This is what's left over because I, I I couldn't get the hard part out, and so this is just sitting in my laundry room. Uh, two scoops of this with every load, and I still didn't get the clothes. The clothes still looked dingy and was not bright. So basically, this got the the boot. Okay, so the homemade detergent did not work. Um, I don't know if anybody else has tried it. Um, I tried adding stuff to it and mixing it around again. Even that still didn't work. So yeah, that was my homemade disaster. Next up we have, uh, you know, you look for the more green stuff, right? So I picked the more green stuff and this is what I found in our big box store, um, Ecos and Guys, educate yourself. So I, again, I always used, I also, once I got to, into the my homemade detergent, I stopped using, I still continue using softener, but I stopped using dryer sheets because dryer sheets are just awful. I already knew that, I learned, I got educated, got empowered, you know better, you do better, right? So I got rid of the, the dryer sheets and I still continued using this fabric softener and the green green nat more natural thing look this up guys there's an app called thing dirty um yeah it helps you to take a look at the products in your home so this one actually came up 
Uh, the worst rating on that app is a 10. This one is rated at a nine. I, yeah, totally forward. This is rated at a nine. Uh, that means it, it, it was listed for reproductive um, uh, problems and also cancer causing uh, thing, chemicals that are known to cause cancer and also known to cause reproductive abnormalities. Okay, so that's what this one is. So guys, be educated, be aware that even though something is green or it says ecos on it or um, says more natural and whatever, it even says here earth friendly product. It's labeled as a safer choice by the EPA um, and it's not. It, it has toxins in it that can cause reproductive and, and cancer causing issues, okay? so. Do you use that thing dirty app and this is where I give that the boot. The next one is our fabric softener. This one's empty, we're pretty much done with this one. Uh, so fabric softener, I love the smell and it makes your the clothes, but it's loaded with toxins. So this is another one I got the boot. So this was our very last one. I chose this one, I'm not quite sure why I did, but um, it, it came in our big box store, see how huge it is. And um, so this one also was rated at a 10, okay? So that's my laundry, my, I'm, I'm putting out my dirty laundry for you guys, so that's it right there. Um, uh, Alright, so this one says 225 loads. Alright, so I'm just going to show you a safer option and also something I can actually replace fabric softener and dryer sheets all in one. Alright, so take a peek. I use, and you guys know I use essential oils, right? So one of the nice things I like to do is actually, this is actually in my, in, in my, laundry room, this is what we do. So it's on, on the shelf when we're doing the laundry and our laundry, our dryer balls are here, okay? And we have our essential oil, we use lavender purification in our uh, laundry room. So the purification goes into the washing machine. I just love the way it makes a clothes smell. And it also keeps that the, the washing machine smell fresh too. And then lavender smells amazing. So we can do our laundry, we do a lot of laundry. Um, I think we do maybe about the kids clothes get two two what two loads two three loads actually and our clothes maybe two or three loads that's our weekends okay <laughs> um, and so you can actually just make these balls uh, put uh, put your essential oils on there and it freshens up the laundry and the dryer ball substitutes the fabric softener and the dryer sheets all in one in one uh, one swap. All right, so another thing for the laundry soap you have is this itty bitty bottle over here. It's called Thieves Laundry Soap. It's so tiny, guys, but it is not concentrated. It is 64 loads. So I'm not sure if I'm doing the math right. I think four of these would replace this one. This one big one actually did not take 225 loads. We would use this one in about a month. Uh, it, yeah, it would be gone like really fast. So this is actually really super concentrated and what it says on the bottle is what it is. So 64 load, super concentrated and it's also safe for your itty bitty uh, when you have to use a little bit amount. So the HE safe. This is the cap and you only use a quarter way of the cap of the laundry soap. That's it. Compared to the, the really the filling up the, the cap on this one. All right, so that's it. That's what we swapped out. So. Um, you have a safer, better option. These don't uh, eliminate any toxins that can that can cause any harm to your home. So, no cancer causing stuff, no reproductive causing stuff. Be educated. Take a look at that thick, dirty app, guys. And one of the blessings I wanted to share, pass on to you guys today, is that these dryer balls actually come uh, t uh, until the end of the month, so until Friday that we have a special going on. So if you want the hookup, guys, uh, for these dryer balls together with the laundry soap uh, and other ways to detox your home, let me know, uh, just say hook me up in the comment section and I'll hook you up, y'all, okay? So that's it, guys, be educated, grab your Thing Dirty app, it's free to download and it's so fun <laughs> and eye-opening. You might go crazy if you see what's down there. Just enter in like, um, anything and this is just i'm just talking about a laundry room but you can put in any of your products in your home there are other green products that you can actually enter in there and see that they are rated pretty pretty high in the badness zone okay so that's it guys i just wanted to uh pass it on to you guys pass on that blessing to you guys and um yeah so if you want the hookup on how to detox your laundry room i have the hookup for you just this right here 
let me know. Just uh, say hook me up and I will get you the hookup. All right, have a wonderful day. Take care, guys.